Hi everyone, let's talk about that awkward moment when you're doing a Facebook Live and you look like a complete idiot. Well, I can't fix that part of it, but what I can do is I can help you fix the replay portion. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that Facebook has released a trimming feature and we're gonna talk about that and show you how this all works. Why is this important? Well, if you've done a Facebook Live, you know the experience. You hit go live, counts down, you got sweaty palms, you're super excited, and it says live. But then you're second guessing, are we actually live? You know, are people seeing me right now? Should I start to talk right now? What should I do? So you wait, right? You wait those few seconds and you look completely awkward. And then when you watch the replay, you realize it captured all those moments and you don't want them in there, but it's too late, it went out there. So same thing at the end, right? You get to the end of the video, you finish it up, you wrap it up, and then you're searching for that end live buttons and, and you can't find it. So there's a few seconds of awkwardness at the end. Well, that's gonna be all fixed in the replay part of the video. Can't fix you in the live version, but in the replay, here's how you do it. So I did a live video this morning on a Facebook page. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna find it. And once I'm here, I'm gonna click on the video to bring what it up to- What do I mean oh, by Facebook business manager? Hold on, let me pause that and turn the, there we go. Um, once it comes up, you're gonna look for these three dots on the right-hand side. You're gonna click on those and you're gonna go down to edit video. Once you go to edit video, you're going to see this box, which you should be familiar with. And you can also edit the, the description that you have up here for it. But you're scrolling down to video trimming. Now, keeping in mind that I did this tutorial before uh, in a different software, so it may not let me allow... Oh, it will here. Okay, perfect. Um, last time I did it, it said it was already trimmed and I had to undo the trimming. So if you know the exact point of when you want the video to start, you can go ahead and put in the actual seconds here. But they make it easy by putting these little handles so you can click and you can drag in and out to when it starts, right? So if you, for some reason you had 19 seconds of awkwardness you wanna get rid of, leave it at that, excuse me, leave it at that, hit play, make sure it actually starts at the right time. Same thing at the end, right? You wanna get rid of that stuff at the end, you can pull it in until the very end of the video. Once you're done, you're gonna hit save and now the replay is tightly clipped and people won't see all that awkwardness. I'm gonna pull that back out because there was none there. Uh, and everything should be good to go. You're gonna hit save and your video is now on your website and it has the properly trimmed elements. So hopefully that's helpful to you. It's gonna save your face uh, and make you more presentable in the replays of your live videos. I haven't been able to see uh, or I couldn't see any of the trimming features for any videos you upload because I'm assuming that they think you've post-produced them so you have the proper trimming in place. But it's only for live videos right now. Go ahead, trim them up, be presentable, and keep rocking and rolling. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. At the time of doing this, we only had 399 subscribers. I'd love to get over 400, so subscribe to the channel, and you'll see more videos and tutorials just like this. Thank you, and I hope you have a great and fantastic rest of your day.